time it is, right? Or I should say, you know what day it is, right? It's Wednesday! <laughs> you can tell by the color of my hair. And the texture. And the length. <laughs> Wig Crush Wednesday, guys. It's summertime, summertime, summertime. Again, again, again. Hey, yo, it's summertime, summertime, summertime. Go tell your friends, we on the ends. Come in your bed, let's ride your bed. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I just wanted to bring you a wi another one of my wigs that I have. It's Wig Crush Wednesday, and as you know, every Wednesday I try to wear a wig. It's um, fun, wigs are fun, wigs are cool, so just be cool and wear wigs. This one that I have on today is um, Motown Tress Let's Lace Wig L Tess. And this is the card for her. And she is gorgeous. It has a two inch uh, deep lace and it's um, just, it's really, really um, first wig friendly for someone who is um, just trying wigs out for the first time. It comes with instructions in the pack as well. And um, of course, lace and you will need to cut off the lace. And I have been wearing this all day today and I'm just going to give my honest opinion because that's what I do. Um, this color is a F1B30. I like the color. It's like um, a mixture of, of colors that complement my skin tone. Uh, dark, dark with a few highlights. I kind of like that to be a little different because I'm usually blonde, curly with my natural hair. So that's why I like to change up on the wigs. I get all textures of wigs so I can just be a little different. But I love the length of this. I love the, the wave pattern, the curl pattern, and um, the texture. The only thing is that I would say about this wig is that it was very high maintenance for me. And what I mean by that is I had to go to the restroom a lot and check myself because um i don't know i just didn't feel comfortable with it like if it was sliding back a little bit um and also maybe because of the darkness i had to keep going and checking to make sure that it was sitting on me right but anyways um the other the other issue is that it tangles a lot and usually curly units do tangle a lot but this one like by the end of the day it was very tangly and matted and uh, so, you know, I had to keep going in, in the restroom, like I said, and keep checking on it, putting some water on it, trying to keep it from looking like too wiggy, okay? Um, look, it's still shedding, and this is like the end of the day. But anyways, um, it was a very, a very inexpensive wig. I did buy it in the, in the beauty supply, and I think it, was, it says $34.99 here. So you pay a little bit more in the beauty supply, but if you order them online, you usually get them cheaper. So for a synthetic wig, I think it's beautiful. I love the color, I love the wave pattern. And you know, I tried to do the little concealer thing right here to make it look less wiggy. Um, but I think I can do more with it. I could probably tweeze the part a little bit more to make it look a, 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 a lot more natural. But again, like I said, I didn't cut it. I didn't do anything to it. I like it just the way it is, except for the matting and, and the tangling. Um, I do have a product that I think is good that I use um, for that. It's called On Natural Curl and Wavy Curl Defining Conditioner and Detangler. And it says that it's for um, synthetic and um, Remy hair and wigs. So you can buy this at your beauty supply, and I got it for like $4.99. But it's really good at working on the tangles because you can just spray it on, and especially on these curly units, like I said. So what I do is I just spray a little, well, a lot in this case for this one because like I said, it, it did tangle a lot. But just like kind of work through the tangles. And you'll probably have to do this a couple times a day with this unit because it is um, one of those, like I said, that tangles up. And of course, all curly units do that. <laughs> a 
I'm laughing at life because he's crawling on the floor underneath the camera trying to get to the kitchen. Thank you, baby, for not getting in the shot. <laughs> but you can get in the shot, you know. <laughs> so he and um, Armani are going to go walk right now. But I'm glad I didn't spend a lot of money on it, but I do love it. As far as you love it, as far as far as style. But yeah, let me show you the construction of the wig since it was falling off. <laughs> oh gosh. But like I said, it has hard lace on it that which you can use got to be glued uh, to gel down the hair in the front of a, a lace front so that you don't have any movement and so that it looks more natural. Now I've got to try that too and I'm going to do it on camera. But anyways, I wanted to show you the construction. You have the two combs here uh, in the front, basically, well not in the front, but on the sides, on, on the temple. And then you have one here in the back as well. And then you have the adjustable straps as usual. You can see the construction of the, of the wig cap here and the lace you see and so that is l test <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna do some doctoring here and get her ready for her next episode all right i hope you guys like this wig review i will put the link to the wig down below and as usual follow me everywhere at on point summer and i will follow you back I promise you that. And thanks for tuning in as always. I love you guys. Make sure you like, comment, because I know y'all going to have some comments about this wig falling off, and subscribe. And hit that bell too so you can know every time I post something up. All right? Love you guys. Mwah. Wise guy. Wise guy. Wise guys the mom. Hey. Look front like you got it when you make a minimum wage. Enjoy it while you got it, pretty soon it's back.